all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, before we get into this video, man, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in because you ain't got to be here, but you're here with me. All right. Now, the video we're about to get into is something that is a bit, maybe, uh, triggering for some. Um... Y'all, you know, these types of videos, bro, it's so much stuff going on in this world, man. And it's like, you can't run away from it. You know what I'm saying? We we, we just can't run away from it. Um, and in some instances, they are a hot ass mess. Okay? Now, I'm sure y'all read the title anyway. So, you're going to see what's going on. But I'm going to just let y'all know. Whether it's, uh, you know, male or female, anybody that's over age that is you know uh doing anything with an underage child okay absolutely off limits you know what i'm saying the child is absolutely off limits um i want to line my video up before we even continue because we're gonna have to slide you to the side uh -huh. but y'all can see the title right there because y'all i'm live right now for those that are not subscribed, you know, to my Twitch. Y'all need to go ahead and do that. I don't know what the hell you waiting on. It's crazy. Yeah, crazy. But, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a situation that uh, a lot of y'all ain't gonna like. But we're gonna go ahead and get into it. You dig? Caught a 19-year-old with a 14-year-old. The 19-year-old was a woman. 14 year old was a man. I mean, a, a boy. Yeah. I really gotta know. I really gotta know. You 19 years old, you grown. So hanging out with big fucking kids, let alone yeah. coming in somebody's house. He could if he spoke to me, but not no grown ass fucking woman. You're grown. You're not 14. Did she just say right? Are you agreeing, ma'am? Hell is you doing? But as a grown ass woman, you should have knew that that shit sounds like some bullshit, right? Mm. Even if he did say he could have company, you grown, so you should know better than to come up to somebody's fucking house. And then I'm sure she said he did say he could have company. On top of that, instead of getting the fuck up out of here. It's 11 o'clock. And you still here. Like this nigga paid bills. Right. Hurry up. For real. Because I'm trying to be patient and I'm trying to be calm. But oh my mama, you grown. We can be like on some real shit. <laughs> she ready to scratch. Cause we, you grow a week of a bitch. <laughs> Please we, hurry up. We the same. So, since I removed the video for bullying and harassment, I'm not sure who I was bullying or harassing, but um, whatever. So, story time about how I discovered this 19 year old woman in the bed with my 13, almost 14 year old son. So, it's Saturday morning. I get up about 8.30. I'm cleaning up my house. I'm moving around, doing what I always do. Got my music playing, whatever. Cleaning up. I check my son on the way, you know, down or whatever. Door is locked, which is typical. He typically sleeps with his door locked. It's not an issue for me because if I need to get in his room, I know how to get in his room. Um, door is locked. I'm like, all right, cool. I go clean up. I uh, you know, locking doors and my shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but I don't play them locking doors, you know. I kind of do a lot of shit that my parents instilled in me. You know, that could be a gift and a curse these days. But the locking the doors, nah. 
and I got girls, because I need to be able to get in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh uh. You never know what's going on out here in these streets. So I need to know what's going on with my child. You get what I'm saying? So ain't no locking the doors, you know. About 10 o'clock, I knock on the door. Um, I'm like, you know, I, I'll knock on the door and, I'm, and I'm, I call for him and I keep going. He comes out of his room. I'm like, I need you to sit with your sister. Um, I have to run up to the gas station. Um, when I'm cleaning up my house, I like to burn my incense. I didn't have any incense. And so I, um, I asked him to come sit with his sister so I could run and get incense or whatever. So he comes out, sits with her, I run up to the gas station, I'm gone like 10 minutes. Right. Come back, let him go back to his room, I continue to do what I'm doing. You should have been gone, lady. That shit great. No, no issue, I, I mean, you know, whatever. So about mm, 11 o'clock, I go knock on the door because now I'm finished cleaning, I'm looking for my lighter, and I can't find it, so I'm like, okay. My lighter was here when I went to bed, it's not here, so two and two together so I go knock on the door the door is locked and I'm banging and I'm like what the fuck is taking you so long to open the door like I opened the door so he opens the door and he's standing and I'm like where's my lighter he's like I'm looking for it I'm looking for it I'm like okay well you need to find it but at the same time I don't see this girl y'all I don't see this girl so I go back out I'm waiting on him for incense I didn't have any incense Cause that's later. my next question. Why he got the lighter? He still, whatever. So I go back to the door. I'm like, bro, where is my lighter? And I look up and I see a bonnet and socks. She's under the blankets in the bed. All I see is her bonnet and her socks. And so I'm like, you got a girl over here? And um, I was like, oh no, 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 sir. She need to get up and she need to go. Okay. So I go back, I sit on the couch, and I'm just like a little flabbergasted because he ain't never done nothing like this before. He ain't never like snuck no girl into the house. So I'm like, oh my goodness, like how am I supposed to handle this situation? So I call my mom, and I was like, you know, mom, this boy got a girl in his bed. Like, what am I supposed to do? And... You know, the, the different treatment of sons and daughters behooves me because I guarantee if that was her daughter she probably would have been ready to go upside that boy head so with her son it's like I don't know what to do why <laughs> why don't she know what to do y'all I don't understand that I'm on his head or her head one of the two. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't play that shit. I need to know who coming over here. I'm going to pick children up. Me. Or TT. Uh, do I need to come get you? All right, bet. I like it like that because I know who the fuck in my shit. You know what I'm saying? You asked. Grazed together. You ain't got a manure. Your friend can come over. I go pick the friend up from the mama house. I, you know what I'm saying? I know where your child live. All that. Nah, I don't. I also feel as though children should have those privileges too, y'all. Um, you know, that's just my opinion because they get to doing sneaky shit like this. He never did that before. He probably never did that before because she ain't let him. You know what I'm saying? So certain shit. I feel like you got to let kids do these days. And not disrespectfully, but if he won't company or she won't company, sometimes you got to go pull up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To get that company and, and all that. That's just my opinion with my chair. But he snuck her in because she was 19, I feel like. So we was talking and I reached out to a couple of my homegirls and they was all like, you know, don't flip out. Just talk to him. Talk to her. Call her parents. You know, y'all need to have a conversation, especially if they having sex. So I'm like, all right. So part three. Um, basically what happened was, I mean, after, after, you know, um, I asked her to leave that, that final time. She pretty much was like on her way out. Um, she left before the police got here because I absolutely did call the police. Um, 
they came, they asked a few questions, they got my information. Um, they asked my son what her name was. He gave the name that he knows her by. I don't know this woman. Um, I tried to pull my ring camera to give them a picture of her leaving my house for some reason. Ironically, every video is on there and every video is saved except for the video of her leaving my house. So I don't know how to, you know, they're going to have to do their due diligence to find out who this lady is. Um, I did my part as a parent. Um, I had a conversation with my son. I let him know that, you know, we, we've had conversations. You get what I'm saying? We've had conversations surrounding this type of topic before, not dealing with a woman of her age. But we definitely sat down and had a conversation, and I definitely did my due diligence as a parent to make sure that she knew how I felt, that my son knew how I felt, and that the police are involved. Um, if I can find the video of the police, I may post it, but uh, I don't feel the need to have to prove anything to anybody. Um, there's a lot of stuff being said in the comments. Um, and to be honest, I'm not going to explain my parenting or my choices or anything to anybody. Um, that's just what it is. Um, but yeah, so it, that's pretty much how I ended. Child, that's a mess. Um, mm -hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, would y'all um would y'all have addressed your son because that's i don't need to call nobody to to, to talk to these children <laughs> now granted i heard these boys out here as well now you know these sons but i'm gonna have to wild out with you he gonna have to know you will never hit on me boy i brought you in i'm gonna take your ass up out of here don't fuck with me you know what i'm saying you gonna have to sneak me, you know, because I, I heard these boys are tripping. But well, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, boy. Uh-uh. I wouldn't play none of them games. Maybe that's why she was nervous. I don't know. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.